Hi, welcome to the Washington, D.C. Market Watch, brought to you by RBI Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Washington, D.C. housing market. Let's jump right in. There's the numbers, then there's the story behind them. It all depends on who you ask. A buyer may say that record low mortgage rates, great prices, and strong negotiating leverage have created one of the most favorable purchase environments in decades. A seller might tell you that less competition and stronger demand means they can expect to see more of their asking price at the time of sale. A lender may declare that their distressed inventory is falling and their overall loan portfolio is beginning to stabilize. An investor may exclaim that real estate is still one of the safest places to park capital while global financial markets calm down a bit. So how is the market? In short, it's all relative. Let's see how much these viewpoints apply locally. Pending sales were up 15.6% from October 2010 to arrive at 600 for the month. Historically high levels of housing affordability are still driving purchase demand along with favorable prices. But tough underwriting standards have prevented willing buyers from making their purchases. Gains in sales volumes combined with fewer new listings meant less active supply of homes on the market. Inventory levels were down 22.8% to 2,409 units. Dramatic declines in active listings have truly been the tail to tell over the past few months. Prices were mostly even with this time last year. The median sales price was off 1.2% from October 2010 to $405,000. Movements that small suggest that a degree of balance has been reached. In addition to month supply, the percent of asking price that sellers receive at the time of sale can also shed light on the overall market balance. These days, sellers are seeing an average of 94.9% of their asking price, up slightly from the 94.7% they saw last October. Improvements in seller concessions combined with falling absorption rates and declining inventory could indicate a changing landscape. The spring 2012 market should be very telling. Recent reports from the broader economy have largely dispelled fears of a double-dip recession. An early third-quarter GDP reading showed 2.5% growth. Meanwhile, the national jobs picture, a major driver of housing demand and price support, has recently strengthened. An impatient White House has rolled out Phase 2 of HARP, or the Home Affordable Refinance Program, for Fannie and Freddie-backed mortgages. This should help a number of consumers as they begin writing the next chapter. That's the Washington, D.C. Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.